Okay, it's time to pay off our father's debt or to suffer like G did. Let's get back to Reset here. As ever, I didn't do an audio test, but uh, if the game is too loud or too quiet, I trust you'll let me know. Till then, let's get back to it. It's been a few days, can't really remember what was going on, but that should be no barrier to success. Let's extort money from the general populace as viscerally as possible. Uh, gee, I should probably do a quick check of what I actually have here. Mm, plenty of food to sell, and morning time is a good time to sell food. But we'll head out anyway, because there's events going on, and uh, why would I want to dodge those? Hmm. So we already had one session of this, it's the story about Little Girl and Midriff trying to sell stuff in their item shop to pay off their father's debt. Actually, come to think of it, we skipped all of the intro sequence for the game, but that uh, pretty much wraps it up. I wonder if people think this writing is good. This game is chock full of events though, and uh, whether you like them or not, if you want to go through them all to actually trigger things to get more adventurous. I'm not sure which specifically trigger what, but we're going through them anyway. Now we got this little tactical choker boy as part of our team, but I don't really think I'll be using him much, if at all. It's charm that I want. Alright, so unfortunately, going back to our shop would waste one period of time, so we may as well have a look at the market and uh, maybe buy something, anything. So we've got plenty of food. We even have uh, treasure, although we could get more treasure, which is tempting. Mm, nah, we'll pass on that. Mm, yeah. It's always good to have some of everything for when people come in asking for things. But, well, except for wallpapers, counters, and the likes. But I think we'll be fine there. Hmm. Nah, we got plenty of food. Let's have one check out at the merchants. Uh, the guild master. Because I will want some of this. Yeah, like a knife. Make that two knives. I do want to kit out my adventures somewhat. Ah, that'll do. Let's get back to the selling. I want to make some money. I want to make loads of money. It's through the day, so people are going to be hungry. They will chow into the beef bowls and... What happened there? And the baked yams. Come one, come all. Ah, Jake, any orders for items? Yeah, a clever person would check if they had any orders. Oh yeah, ask and you shall receive. That's Charm's Adventure Guild card, and now we can go dungeon diving with her. Probably do that the day after today. But Midriff doesn't like this girl for some reason. Maybe it's some kind of uh, Midriff rivalry, I don't know. so abused. I don't think they deserve any better, but what do I know? I am a terrible racist. You know, I'm sure there is some backstory about Midriff. I did complete this game before, but I can't actually remember any of that. True words there, Charm. Don't lie, folks. Unless no one will ever catch you. Jake, where did you put the piece of paper where you wrote it all? I wrote all of what? Alright, 
right, enough lecturing charm. I need to get selling. Look at all these people in my shop, desperate to buy things. Matane, indeed. Come on, show me the money. Oh, bollocks, you ordered weapons, didn't you? Uh, hmm. Well, a couple of long swords will do the trick, right? Unless I have better weapons to sell. Nah, I think he'll make do with a couple of those. And, as ever, I just want to keep it 104, because that gets us near pin bonuses. Crucial in getting people to like us more. And I don't think I leveled up the man at all before. Let's try and actually pay attention to when they're selling things to us. Otherwise, I'm just going to be throwing my money down the drain. Oh yeah, I got my customer levels written down in front of me. Alright, little girl selling stuff to me. I hate paying all this dosh, but... Gotta get those near pins. Didn't catch any of that, but anything for a near pin. Yeah, if I can get charm to level up, that'll be a huge amount of money. How is the audio? Because it sounds kind of quiet for me, but it's not easy for me to judge. Alright, old man wants some food, but we've leveled him up, so we can sell him as ex uh, food as expensive as it gets. Uh, trouble is, we don't really have much in the way of expensive food, do we? Got our baked yams and beef bowls. Well, here you go, my friend. I that'll do, he says. Show me the money. Yeah, I figured the sound might be a bit low. Let's crank it up a bit. Grandchild's been pestering you for food. Well, if one beef bowl isn't enough, how about two? How we rolling in money. Rolling in experience as well. One more and we get the level up. Do you have a book? Yeah. There you go. Your own autobiography. Oh, sweet. Let's uh, mark that down as one up for little girl. Meaning that she will finally not just buy piddly little items. She'll actually have something resembling a budget. So now when I go buying books, I can buy half decent ones now. Do I want to go dungeon diving now that I have charm? Or do I want to keep selling stuff? Mm, I don't think anywhere new is opened up, so it makes it a little worthless going dungeon diving right now. So, keep the selling going. Okay, so we have a... Uh, off her face charm, staggering into our fine establishment. Show I got message from the guild today. Yeah, just what I was asking for. They found a new dungeon. Amber Garden. Oh. Dungeon crawling without needing Louis. It's like a dream come true. Dungeon diving is fun and all, but I got money to make. And thank goodness, she wants that. I want her to have that. Not to the extent that I'm about to offer her a discount on it, but there you go. And it was kind of hidden. A cruel, cruel thing for the game to do, but Charm did level up there. So a little heart, so now Charm can buy mucho expensive items. So we should go out of our way to get her an even better knife. Two pieces of armor in two days. Yeah, sure. I'll buy them from you, but uh, you'll be none the wiser. Also, Guildman has a huge budget, so we're going to be taking brutal advantage of that. 
No, you can't use knives, you tool. Oh, uh, that's good as well. And pretty much, if somebody selects an item from your shop, they will always be able to afford it. You don't want to force things onto them that they can't afford, though. There you go, and not a penny higher. It's a bit of a shame that the best way to play it is pretty much sell at 104, buy at 70. Because uh, I would like it if it was more focused on squeezing every little penny you could out of people. This is something my grandfather used... Oh, used with love! Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't really pay you much for it, though. Ah, but that levels up woman. Focusing on leveling up early in this game is really key to making the mucho dollar. The first level up is far and away the most important one. Alright, Tyr, explain things to me. We can rearrange the counters and we can have more items. Soon I'll be able to expand my store and that is the greatest thing. How do I move this counter anyway? Midriff. There we go. Time for barricade from the zombies. I wonder if this actually works. Mm. It's night time, I'm sure people want to buy uh, protective equipment. By the gods, it works. And uh, now, man, I don't think I've leveled you up, so we'll need to make do with pathetic weapons for you. Which is strange, I figure I would have leveled up the man by now. Tempted to sell him something just to check, because man comes around quite a lot. You know what, we will try. If he rejects this, then I know that I haven't leveled him up. Ah, all right, get the hell out of my shop. But good to have that confirmed. Actually, scaring him away with that enormous price tag actually lowered his opinion of me. So it'll take a bit more work to actually get him leveled up. But that's all right. Woman is all we need. I would like to buy this. Just throw the money on the counter. How did we get over there? The price of candy has increased. Well, we have plenty of candy. I hope. Oh, what's Midriff got for us now? News flash. Suddenly jumped in prices. Pay attention. Blah, blah. I'll buy all the candy in the city and keep it for myself. This game's humor sometimes. But yeah, sometimes the news that you see is uh, unimportant, other times vitally important for the economy. How was it before? That? That'll do. That'll do. Anyway, let's get out there. 
there's only one event going on in the town square. It doesn't seem particularly worth my time. So let's go dungeon diving. Come on, charm. Let's go and get ourselves slaughtered in the Amber Garden with some of the most chill music. Probably the most chill music in the game. Attack power doubled for everyone. Okay. It's going to take a bit of getting used to because she needs to uh, have people get much closer to her. Oh, shoot. <sighs> Level up fast, please. Gee, this will be a fast KO. Fortunately, I am master of the... Well, it's not triform technique, but it's close enough. What the hell are those? <laughs> well, at least I didn't pick anything up. Okay, let's pretend that never happened and go straight back in. Hmm. Well, at least now, attack. Oh, oh dear. Alright, I'm clearly no good at this. Let's get better real fast. It is really nice playing as someone that's so much faster, though. we continue to pretend the last time didn't happen. We can tell ourselves we'll get the Amber Garden done in one shot. Now I can see why you prefer the shop part to the dungeoneering. Hey now. A temporary setback. No, no. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, ain't my day. So we wasted an entire day and a couple thousand of our dollar dues. And we lost out hard. price of daggers has increased. To the person who bought leeks at the market, you forgot your change. Well, not me, so I don't have to worry. But perhaps we should get some of that candy out. Nah, wouldn't sell for much. So, do we throw ourselves at the dungeon again? No, we don't, because it's closed. Let's just make some money. Next time, I think I will... Uh, Give her some armor on the house. Please sell things at me. I'm told that's an intentional uh, typo or what have you. Intentional typo? Doesn't seem to make much sense. But it's meant to be referencing something and I haven't. Oh! Yeah, you asked for armor, didn't you? Uh. Whew. Thankfully, I have plenty. I should have bought some better armor though, since he would have paid boon dollar for it. I'm losing out already. Two hats, three days, no problem. Wrong thing to pick up, but I already sold or. No! You should be picking up the pretty wand. Fool. But, I saw that, we have got Tactical Choker Boy leveled up, and he should have loads of money to spend now. Best thing he could do is uh, place an order for us. <laughs> I forgot about man. Oh well, I was uh, doing important things in Amber Garden. And ugh, 
I sold my good armor. Oh well, here you go. So it's all coming apart for this session. But that's alright, we'll get that debt paid off, no problem. We damn told you so, Jake. Uh, Twitch lag, right? Wasn't there fast enough. There we go, making loads of money, pretending I'm good at this game. How it should be. Now let's keep an eye on those orders. In three days, the old man wants two hats, and the old man has a fairly heavy uh, budget. So let's go get some hats. Fairies see the worst in people. They deserve all the terrible things that probably happen to them. Alright, let's go shopping. You gotta spend money to make money, although... 30,000 picks are due in 1, 2, 3, 4 days. But if we don't invest, we won't be able to make plenty of money then, so what can we get? Uh, hmm. Should be a way to check who can equip what, isn't there? There we go. rings break. There's no point in investing in those. I don't think anybody wants treasures yet. But books. Books are going to be good, especially since now the little girl actually has a budget. Uh, question is, how much is she going to be affording? Hmm, I reckon we can get these expensive books for her. She's going to be in most times. Tale of Two Sisters. A non-fiction work about two sisters and their travelers. Shouldn't this have been released sooner? I don't get it. Oh, they want the sweet soup books. Mm, you know what, we don't get out all the time at... Ooh, a vending machine. I want a vending machine. But not yet, there's no money. I also want a copy of Booze of the World, because why not? And ham sandwiches, yes. Good heavens, I want everything you're selling. But I need to save some money for the, uh, the guild man. Sell things to me, especially hats, right? How many hats was it? Two or three? I only have one of those left. I'll take, uh, what was it? Two hats or three? Two hats, alright. And I'm a little short on the armor as well. Armor for, uh, what's her face? Alright, she'll make do with the shell one. It'll be better than her scrap plate. Alright, time to go home and make some mad money. The new diet centered on egg toasts has taken off with housewives. First annual radish wheel cart race of that. Stupid. Okay, what have we? Definitely want those books out on display, since the little girls will want to buy those up, probably. And ham sandwiches, they're always going to sell. Looking good. Let's make some money. Oh yeah, couldn't I increase my store somehow? Yeah, I want to expand. I bet it's one of the uh, things I had to do at the guild. In any case, time for money. Hope nobody sells me anything first off. Ah, oh, thank god. Yes, yeah, you're a perfect shopper. Now buy my books too. Are you playing this voluntary, Jake? Or should I call the cops because there's a gun against your head? Uh -huh. Sweden is uh, enriching me forcibly. Ok, 
Okay, I would love to give you base price, but I don't want to spend loads of money on a thankful statue. But I do need to get your level up after I uh, scared you away before. We'll just make do with that. Surprised man didn't level up. No, stop selling things to me. Wow, okay. Make that two on Guildmaster. He'll be buying all our expensive junk. You expand the store at the market. Ah, thank you. And old man as well. Oh, we're swimming in the levels. If only we had the money to go with it. Armor, yes! What a shame I got rid of all my good armors. Again. I suppose it doesn't really matter if we kit out Louis with uh, good stuff. Since we're not using him. Should be good. Yeah. Show me the money. A bracelet. Well, it just so happens I threw one on the shelf there. If you would just open your enormous eyes. Oh, we got a perfect uh, just bonus there. Plus 30. Two weapons, two days, and I already leveled you up. Alright, that is the boon dollar. As long as I can buy those weapons. We've already leveled you up and you have a fairly meaty budget as is, I believe. Turn chocolate into money, you heathen. Hurry up and level up. Doing pretty well on those just pins. <laughs> Don't suppose you have any food. It's funny, I'm sure he's not asking to buy food. He's just like, I'm so hungry. Give me food. Well, we already leveled up Louis. And even though his uh, budget is pathetic, he should be able to buy this. I don't want to deal in chump change by my strange vase. Yes! Did we level up the woman just once? Well, it's really tempting to squeeze her for money, so that's what we'll do. A bit expen- oh, shut your mouth. That's a shame, that broke my combo. I thought I'd be able to squeeze that much out of her. That's alright, we've got plenty of dosh there. And finally, man is leveled up. He's one of our most frequent customers. It's shocking that he wasn't leveled up already. But now he can actually spend a reasonable amount. It's amazing how much better we do when we don't go dungeon diving. What's the news? The price of long swords has increased. All right, you still make good money if you. Uh, your fortune for today is uncertain. All right, sounds like a good idea to go dungeon diving. So tomorrow we want two weapons for uh, tactical choker boy. One of them is going to be the pretty wand. He's going to have to get that. All right, marketplace. I can't expand. Where do I expand? Oh, there we go. Yes. 